My name is Vanessa Cirillo, and I'm 28 years old. Before I got the Total Artificial Heart, I was weak, just felt always just tired and sick. Now I'm going to the gym three times a day. If I could take Big Blue home with me, then I would be happy with that. <laughs> it would make this, um, this situation, this experience, a lot easier. One, two, three, four, pause. Four, two. I would love I, to be I, I able it to One, two, three, take four. it with me and go to the floor. Walk down the street. Good. Walk my dog. You know, this, this is the little things that I would One, two, really enjoy. Nice job. Good. Oh. I'm my bad. Yeah, there it is again. Nice. My name is Dominic Alexander, and my job mainly consists of working in the OR for implants and explants of artificial heart devices. But another thing that we have to do is also, and not just keeping spirits up, but preparing people for their transplant. Hi, my name is Christopher Larson. I'm Navajo, Native American. I'm age 44. When I received my artificial heart, uh, I was noticed that my muscles were, um, uh, I was losing muscle mass and I was losing a lot of strength in my ability to do things. And the Freedom Driver has been able to compensate for all of the exercises that we do. Not only does it give us freedom, but it just seems to be working that much better. All that's for is just to, to help build up strength and muscle tone, uh, actually even decrease some percent body fat that really allows them to recover that much faster when they receive their heart transplant. I'd like to thank the doctors, nurses, and staff for helping me and wonderful engineers here in the heart uh, cardiac rehab. And um, I'd just like to say thank you from my heart to yours. Thank you.